Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So recently there's been some interesting news about Valve relating to AI content. Basically Valve is not willing to publish games with AI generated content anymore. So this was the news which really blew up recently. This brings up a lot of questions regarding AI generated art and the legality behind it. Adobe actually did something really interesting about that. And after a while Valve finally put out an official statement. And there's also questions with other AI related tools that are not about AI generating art. For example GitHub Copilot for programming and ChatGPT for just text. So there's a lot of questions regarding this, but let's start from the very beginning and it all started over here on this post. It's a post on Reddit where someone mentioned that their game was rejected specifically for using AI generated art. So this developer tried to release a game about a month ago with a few assets that were fairly obviously AI generated. And then they received this message where Valve says, while we strive to ship most titles submitted to us, we cannot ship games for which the developer does not have all of the necessary rights. After reviewing, we have identified intellectual property, which appears to belong to one or more third parties. In particular, the game contains art assets generated by artificial intelligence that appears to be relying on copyright material owned by third parties. As the legal ownership of such AI-generated art is unclear, we cannot ship your game while it contains these AI-generated assets. Of course, unless you can affirmatively confirm that you own the rights to all the IP used in the dataset that trained the AI to create the art assets for your game. So basically, do you own every single input that was used to train the AI? If so, then that's fine. If not, then that's a problem. So this is what started the whole thing and there's tons of discussion here. There's also some people that doubt the veracity of this story, but there have been some more reports of similar messages. For example, on Twitter, Simon Carlos posted pretty much the same message with the same link. And here in the replies, Jake Burkett, who is a veteran in developer, he said that a source trusted by him also received a similar message. And importantly, it said that it's not just art, it's text as well. So this actually brings a question to myself. Like I mentioned in the video announcing my upcoming Steam game, Dinky Gardens, in there I talked about how I actually used ChatGPT in order to do some brainstorming to come up with a name for the game. I didn't use it to generate any of the text in game or any of the store page text, but I did use it for brainstorming and coming up with ideas for the names for the actual game. So the question is, is that a problem using AI to just brainstorm things? The other similar example are tools like GitHub Copilot. So this pretty much uses AI to do some pair programming. So it helps you actually write code. And again, this whole thing was trained on billions of lines of code. So here it is. I haven't actually explored if they mentioned where exactly they got these lines of code. So perhaps this one was indeed only trained on code that they actually own, I'm not sure about that. But either way, these questions about legality, this is going to be a big problem. Which is why back when Unity announced their AI tools all the way back in GDC, where they announced to do nothing, just a basic teaser. Back then they didn't say much, but behind closed doors, a few of us actually got invited to meet the AI team and we spoke to them. And importantly, they actually said how it was extremely important for them that they actually own all of the input datasets. They thought it was extremely important that they own everything so that there were no questions about copyright. However, recently they finally announced some actual AI tools. And when people ask them about the source for their training data, their answer definitely leaves quite a bit to be desired. They just say we license third party LLMs, so nothing specific. So this makes it sound like they trained it on something like ChatGPT and then just did some fine tuning with Unity technical documentation. If that is the case, that could definitely lead to some legality issues. On the other hand, I don't think this relates to the AI art tools that they mentioned. So no idea if they own all of the entire input datasets for those. I really hope they do because I do think this is going to be a big problem if AI is ever going to be used in a serious manner. And one company that actually seems to be taking that quite seriously is Adobe. As you might know, Adobe recently added some AI generated tools into Photoshop and various products. Personally, I've actually used it quite a bit and it has been quite useful. I use it sometimes for generating thumbnails. It's really great for being able to just erase something or just expand an image. So the Photoshop AI tool has been very useful to me. And in regards to concerns about legality, Adobe actually updated their terms. They basically added an indemnity clause, which said with Firefly, Adobe will also be offering enterprise customers an IP indemnity, which means Adobe would protect customers from third party IP claims about Firefly generate outputs. So basically this means they guarantee that they own all of the input datasets that were used to train the AI. And if you are a developer who uses any Adobe products and uses any generated AI, if there's some kind of lawsuit, then Adobe will essentially defend you. Again, I think this is extremely important in order to clear up all the legality regarding AI art and AI content. So I do think Adobe is doing something excellent here, and I really hope that Unity does the same thing. Finally, after a lot of talk and a lot of speculation, Valve actually put out an actual statement. In there, they say, our priority as always is to try to ship as many of the titles that we receive as we can. Noting that a regular requirement is that the developer has sufficient rights in using AI to create assets, including images, text, and music. So music, that's another one where there have been quite a lot of AI tools and they seem quite useful, but again, no idea what is the legality of the inputs used to train them. 
So Valve continued, we know it is a constant evolving tech and our goal is not to discourage the use of it on Steam, instead we're working through how to integrate it into our already existing review policies. Stated plainly, our review process is a reflection of current copyright law and policies, not an added layer of our opinion. As these laws and policies evolve over time, so will our process. So this seems like it's basically just Valve covering themselves in legal terms. Since there hasn't yet been any legal case that kind of confirmed the illegality of all of these AI generated assets, because of that they are basically taking the safe approach and saying if you can't prove that you own the entire data set that was used to train the AI, if you can't prove that then they're simply not going to accept the game. So this is definitely going to be a big question coming in the months ahead. The guarantee that Adobe is doing, I think this is great, I think this is going to be the future. And I really hope that when Unity actually launches the AI tools, for now they just announcement, there's going to be a closed beta sometime soon. So I hope that between now and when they finally launch these tools, I hope by then they actually clarify all the inputs and give developers a peace of mind to know that everything they use has been nice and legal. Either way, this is definitely going to be a very interesting space to see for the next few months. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.